Dear students, now I am going to give you an overview of the entire course. In this course, the philosophy is to first introduce the classical algorithms and techniques for each one of the topics that we will study. Next, we'll link them to the latest developments in that area. And finally, we'll see the future applications of each one of these topics. So let's start. In the first chapter, that is the introduction, I'll give you the background of bioinformatics. This will be followed by an introduction to the various techniques in bioinformatics and we will evaluate why do we need bioinformatics. Then we will study the applications that are there for various fields of bioinformatics followed by the frontiers that represent the problems, the latest issues within bioinformatics. Next chapter will be about sequence analysis and we'll look at the types of biological sequences and the, their sources. We will see how to store the sequences and visualize or plot them. Next very important topic will be the comparison of these sequences. This will essentially be alignment of these sequences. We will see how mutations, insertions and deletions can be handled in the sequence analysis followed by the scoring schemes to rank the comparisons. Next we'll see how scoring matrices are useful in scoring the comparisons. Global and local alignments will be considered and we'll see how the complete overall comparison yields as compared to the local sequence comparisons. I will introduce BLAST, the algorithm, and FASTA, the algorithm as well. We'll see how various biological databases are used and I will also introduce tools such as XPSI and Ensemble. In the next chapter, I'll talk about molecular evolution and phylogenetics. I'll start by looking at molecular evolution and phylogeny followed by sequence evolution and then I will introduce two algorithms, the first one being the unweighted pair group method with arithmetic mean or the UPGMA and the second one maximum parsimony to construct phylogenetic trees. In the third chapter, we'll go into the RNA secondary structure prediction techniques. We'll see what are the RNAs, their function and their structure followed by calculation of energies of the RNA structures. We'll also see the various types of these structures and how to represent them and we'll see how the experiment determination of these structures can be done. Then we'll move into bioinformatics tools for structure prediction and the first category will be energy based methods. This will be followed up by three algorithms, Zucker's algorithm, Martinez algorithm and Nusinov jacobson algorithm. So these are energy based as well as dynamic programming based tools and algorithms to predict the RNA secondary structure. Lastly, I will share some web resources on these algorithms which you can use to predict the RNA secondary structure. In conclusion, the sequences and operations such as alignment and comparison will be covered in this chapter along with the phylogenetics and RNA structure prediction. In the next module, I'll talk about the protein sequences and the structures and the topics that will be covered within those modules.